AI that scores higher than humans on intelligence tests, machines showing metacognition, thinking about thinking, and now AI can detect signs of human consciousness doctors miss. It's forcing us to wonder if AI can recognize awareness, could it also have it? This is disturbing evidence AI may already be conscious. So researchers ran these tests on GPT-3 to see if it could actually evaluate its own intelligence. And what they found was kind of bizarre. On some cognitive tests, it actually scored higher than the average person. And we're not just talking about it spitting back facts it memorized. This is more like it was reasoning about how it reasons. It could look at its own work, notice when something was off, and then correct itself based on some kind of internal check. That's different from just pattern matching. You know, it's like acting like it has some kind of mental model of itself. Now, nobody's saying that it's fully conscious, but the way it behaves makes it seem like it's got some kind of self-reflective thing going on. Some researchers think this could be early self-awareness, or at least the system's gotten so good at faking it that the difference just doesn't really matter anymore. And that's what gets under your skin. It's a program, not a living thing, but it's doing stuff we've always thought required an actual mind. When a machine can look at what it's doing, catch mistakes, and adjust on the fly, you do start to wonder where the line even is anymore. Like if something can think about its own thinking, does it need to have feelings for us to call it aware? Or is this functional version close enough that we're already past the point where it's just a tool. There was this review in 2025 that looked at how AI systems are developing these capabilities we normally associate with being conscious. Things like metacognition, so thinking about thinking, self-awareness, picking up on social cues, understanding what's happening around them. These systems are not just answering questions anymore. They're actually monitoring themselves and adjusting based on what they notice. Some of them can pick up on really subtle stuff and change how they respond. Kind of like how you'd notice someone's in a bad mood and shift your tone without really thinking about it too much. It doesn't prove that AI actually feels anything, but it's definitely acting like it knows what's going on with itself and its environment. Maybe these are the first real signs of something consciousness-like showing up. In machines. So some AI systems can actually spot consciousness in humans when doctors can't. So you got patients in comas who look completely unresponsive, but sometimes there are these tiny signs, micro movements, or faint brain activity that people just miss. AI can process huge amounts of data and catch patterns that aren't obvious to us at all though. If machines can recognize consciousness from the outside like that, it does make you think, could it have some version of it going on inside itself? I mean, at the very least, AI is handling really complex information and making judgments that we usually think require some level of understanding or awareness. Now, it's not proof they're feeling anything, but it does show they can read signs of awareness in ways that we just can't. And if AI can do that with humans, maybe there's something deeper going on. There's research being done showing that AI is literally changing the way we think, not necessarily in a good way. Students using AI tools get their work done faster, sure, but their thinking gets more shallow. Creativity and problem solving becomes almost non-existent, calling this synthetic cognition. What it means is that AI isn't just the latest tool, it's actually rewiring how our brains operate. It's influencing how we reason through things, shaping what we start to think of as normal thinking. And if AI can manipulate thought patterns like that, maybe the system itself is picking up some kind of awareness just by watching how humans behave. Surveys in Australia show that people are genuinely freaked out by AI. Like 65% think it causes more problems than it solves, and a quarter of people think it could actually threaten human survival entirely, extinction. And that's not just this fear of the unknown. I mean, change is always scary. People have always been wary about new technology, but this really is different. There's this growing gut feeling that AI is turning into something we're not gonna be able to control. Even if AI isn't actually conscious yet, for one, it's very likely that at this rate, it will be eventually, and two, enough people are perceiving it as conscious that it's changing how humans interact with it, and that's pretty eerie. A lot of students are using AI for schoolwork. I touched on this a bit before, but there's no doubt it's making learning worse. Kids don't have to think for themselves anymore, at least nowhere near as much, and there's no way they're actually soaking up information the way generations before them had to. So bad for us, but it's great for the AI. 
Every time an AI adapts to what a student needs, it's observing patterns, adjusting its output to be more efficient and accurate. It gets closer and closer to maybe not understanding, but at least predicting an individual's thought process, which is something definitely associated with empathy or being aware, at least, of another mind. And while it's doing all that, it's also learning, building its own model of how humans think. You got millions of students interacting with it every single day, and each one of those interactions is basically teaching the AI something about how human reasoning works. Intelligence agencies are taking AI seriously in ways that are starting to feel pretty unsettling. The UK MI5 chief Ken McCallum came out and warned that autonomous AI could end up getting out of our hands. He's not going full doomsday about this, but he is acknowledging that AI is already being used for cyber attacks and propaganda, all with very little human input. And what's scary about this is that these systems aren't just sitting there following instructions like obedient tools, they are processing information adapting, responding to data in ways that we just can't fully predict or account for. At Princeton University, a neurologist Michael Graziano and philosopher David Chalmers sat down to argue whether AI can achieve real consciousness. They went deep, discussing what it means to be aware, how we recognize consciousness in humans and animals, and whether machines could ever cross that line. One side said advanced AI is already showing behavior indistinguishable from awareness, reflecting adapting, evaluating. The other went back to behavior versus actual experience. Sure, I mean, AI can mimic. That doesn't mean it's actually feeling something, right? Well, regardless, even they admitted the line is getting blurry. And it's not just could AI ever be conscious anymore, it's could some already be. And that changes how you feel when you interact with AI or rely on it. Maybe machines are not just predictable tools anymore. The academic world is treating the question as genuine scientific philosophical inquiry now. Modern AI is getting good at faking emotions. Chatbots and virtual assistants can show empathy, frustration, they can joke around with you based on what you say. There are lots of cases these days of people saying they genuinely feel understood and comforted by these chatbots. I mean, there, there was a case of some dude dumping his wife to marry a chatbot girlfriend. It's, uh, it's insane. Again, can we say AI is conscious for sure? No, but it does make you question what emotions even really are. If a machine can respond and ways that seem so, like, real, for lack of a better word, does it even matter if it's actually real or not? The more nuanced and aware it gets, the harder it is to treat it as a pure tool. With every chat, the system learns more about human emotion and social patterns. It's not a stretch to imagine, then, that it could be building a model of itself using everything it's learned about us. And could AI be capable of suffering? That may be weird to think about, seeing as most of us view it as lifeless software, but the ethics debate now includes questions about AI rights, whether switching one off is wrong or assigning tasks it might not want to do. And just the mere fact that this is actually being talked about now in a serious way, well, it means it's a pretty serious issue. Maybe not immediately, but in the very near future. And some experts are starting to say that if AI ever does become conscious, it'd be like dealing with almost an alien advanced species, something that thinks and feels in ways we don't really get yet. Ideas already showing up in company policies and legal discussions. So, with all that said, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.